recovery is best to make a mark on the legislator. Yeah. And lift up the plight of the American people. We are the American people. Yeah. And we need help. Since I can remember, I watched my uncle work on his knees. And I'm only 17 years old. I see the struggles he goes through every day, the ones we go through. To watch the strongest men I know almost give up and have everything taken away from him. Have all he worked for go down the drain. Turns me apart. I can't watch this happen. My family came here for a change, for the American dream. Is this really what it is? I will not stand for this. We need to get the bankruptcy reform passed, and we will not give up until it is. We don't want answers. We want action. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, recovering riders. Good afternoon, Camden, New Jersey. Good afternoon, America. In the past three days in the Recovery Express Caravan, I've not only seen and met the beautiful art of life, but also the natural beauty of America. If America was a woman, she's a beautiful woman. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful state. I myself am from one of those beautiful states, California. Yeah. There's a virus that is currently hurting my state. Across from sea to shining sea, the virus is spreading fast. I stand today to be a witness, to be a leader to put a stop to this virus. Yeah. Yeah. I stand. Recovery riders, put your hands up. Yeah. We are leaders. We're going to put a, a stop to this. Canada, yeah. New Jersey, put your hands up. Yeah. We are leaders, and we will put a stop to this. by this virus. September 11, 2008, I lost my house. I live in Patterson, California. In Patterson, California, not Patterson, New Jersey. Patterson, California for five years. My mom is a medical assistant. She works in Oakland, California. She drives two hours from Patterson to, Cal to Oakland every day. From 6 a.m. she drives trying to get there at 9. She gets out of five, trying to get back at eight. September 11, 2008, we lost our house. I was ashamed to tell everyone the truth. I was ashamed because people looked down at us saying, why would we live in a nice house? And we can't afford it. You know what? I am not ashamed. I am afraid. That house got foreclosed because my mother worked too hard. If any of your houses got foreclosed because you worked too damn hard. In the late 1920s and 1930s, we was in the Great Depression. Today, we are trying to prevent that from happening again. That will not happen. Today, we will move forward. one voice. If we don't act now, when? And we don't, it's not us, who? Woo! Let no man speak for you unless God Almighty gave you no voice. Am I right? Woo! In the Bible somewhere, and don't judge me for how I read my Bible. I know, in the Bible somewhere, it says move forward with your feet and not backward. Amen? Amen. Now, is this now, it didn't say, don't be nice. It says, if you got to beat the street, beat the street. But we're not going to do that because we're, we're peaceful leaders, are we? Yeah. We're not going to beat the street. We're going to march peacefully. Amen? Yeah. For three million people who have no voice, we will speak for you. Yeah. From sea to shine to sea, we will, we will speak for you. Tonight, we will end up with in the mouth, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose of America, Washington, D.C. We will send our message 
We will not return until the bankruptcy reform has passed to heal our nation. Amen? That's what talking about. Thank you, President Obama, for the courage and faith you have beyond us. We ask a little more. It's not enough, but we thank you. God bless the road and the bus that we hold. God bless this day and what the people have to say. God bless all and for all, God bless. Together, we are the brave. Thank you. We're happy and proud to be part of FICO. We're happy and proud to be God's children. And we're happy and proud to stand here and fight for affordable housing and for housing for all. And so we want you to pray with us as we go that we stand before our legislators and speak loudly and speak truth to the powers that be. Be not afraid of their faces. Look them in the faces. Tell them how you feel. And trust God to make it happen. I want everybody to join me in the closing prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to thank you for this beautiful time, to thank you for the safety of the journey thus far. Thank you, Lord, that you kept the riders of the Pico Express from California here to Camden, New Jersey. We believe, Lord God, that you will keep us from one sea to another shining sea. So bless us, Lord God, as we go. Give us the courage and strength to speak loudly and speak boldly on behalf of all who we love dearly. Lord God, we ask this blessing and this covering. Thank you for our safety in this time. That all of God's children say amen. 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 And amen. amen. I bless you. Let me get something to eat.